Hi, I'm Connie Deegan, the founder of The Influence Lab. I've led a major research study on leadership influence, designed a psychometric tool to measure it, and written two best-selling books on the subject. But most importantly to you, I advise senior executives at the world's biggest brands on how to influence positive change. And that's where you come in. Zane approached me a few years ago to help develop and launch the Women's Empowerment Program. I was there with you in Kuwait City to moderate the kickoff. It was such an honor to interview your group chairman and CEO, Bader al Karafi. And talk about choosing to challenge. He shared a bold vision for the future of gender equality at Zane and all throughout the Middle East. It was an extraordinary discussion. Mr. al Karafi was very open about how he chose to step forward to influence a cultural transformation. I was inspired by this remarkable man on a mission. One reason that I was chosen to help lead the movement is because I share your vision that gender diversity is not just about women's empowerment, it's about human empowerment. We need both genders working together to lead social change. At Zane, you were among the very first organizations in the world to start from the ground up shaping the future of equality in the workforce. I learned so much from working with you. You've taken actions that I believe can help companies around the globe, including right here where I am in the West, to influence better, faster, more sustainable results. Here are three lessons that I took away. The first, how they are led. The chief executive must be the feminist in chief. The CEO needs to be driven by an absolute conviction that gender parity is crucial to the future success of the organization. If the CEO isn't deeply invested and won't humanize the movement by speaking out boldly, the initiative is doomed. Mr. Al Karafi openly shares personal stories of how women have shaped his views as a businessman, a husband, and a father. He speaks boldly at the WE meetings and answers every question. Lesson number two, how it's measured. For an initiative to succeed, it has to be an operational priority, which means you need to establish KPIs. You need measurable data to monitor growth of the initiative. Zane built a detailed roadmap to help women rise to leadership positions. You identified specific KPIs, such as the ratio of women eligible for promotion to those who actually are, attrition rates between men and women in similar functions, and gender pay gaps. These key performance indicators are now on the agenda at every operational review and every board meeting, no exception. Lesson number three, how it spreads. You need multiple stakeholders spreading influence in every direction. You can't force people to commit to something they don't believe in. In order to elevate a mandate into a movement, you need organic peer-to-peer -peer influence. Zane enlisted hundreds of WE ambassadors throughout the organization at all levels in all eight countries where you operate. These ambassadors are engaging their peers of their own free will, influencing even their most skeptical, resistant co-workers, male and female. And you've expanded beyond the organization. You want to influence diversity throughout the entire MENA region, and it shows. Most companies make another fundamental mistake. They exclude men from their gender equality initiatives. The truth is, empowerment is not gender-specific. It's about everyone leading together. There will be no true equality in any corporation, in any part of the world, until there's a dramatic change in how gender initiatives are led, measured, and shared. And so to you, my friends at Zane, congratulations on leading the way in your gender diversity initiative. You chose to challenge early on, and I hope that more corporate leaders are inspired to take action for equality. If so, inclusivity will truly influence the future. Thanks for watching, 
and I can't wait until this pandemic is under control and I can come back to the Middle East to work with you all again in person. Thanks for watching.